Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorites as well as my family's all around meals in the world, the bean and cheese burrito. It's one we all enjoy on the regular, but when I make it from scratch at home, it is truly the way to go with this classic from time to time. Plus, it's way cheaper. But with that said, let's just dive into the recipe. Okay, so the first thing up is cooking the beans since that's going to take a bit of time. So in a medium pot that's on high heat, add a splash of canola oil and start by lightly charring some quartered white onions, a bit of crushed garlic, then a halved jalapeno with a good amount of ground cumin and salt. After that, add in the soaked pinto beans with water to cover and cook this on a simmer until the beans are super tender. While you are waiting for that to get done, it's a good time to prep out a really nice green chili sauce to go with it. So here place a few halved jalapenos onto a very hot pan, in this case a cast iron grill, along with the white onion and garlic clove. Cook all this for about 10 to 15 minutes, turning occasionally, then you're going to place everything into a bowl and cover with plastic film for about 20 minutes. After everything inside that steamy bowl is tender, remove the majority of the seeds from the jalapenos and place everything into a food processor along with some fresh cilantro, a decent pinch of salt, and some lime juice. Blend this all on high speed until you have a beautiful vibrant green sauce that's perfect for dipping or topping. Okay, so like I said earlier, as soon as the beans get super tender and basically start to split, you're gonna blend them on high speed until they are a relatively smooth consistency. Uh, now this all depends on how you like your personal texture of refried beans though. Now the beans are pretty much ready to go and really good if you wanted to stop here, but for truly refried beans, you need to refry the beans. So here I rendered a bit of bacon fat to use as my lipid or fat to refry my beans, and all I'm going to do is cook the pureed beans in the hot fat for another 5 to 10 minutes until they darken slightly and take on a bit more complex flavor than before. Now once that's done, turn off the heat and the beans are truly done. By the way, all this can be done with zero animal fat and it is just as good. Once everything seems like it's pretty much ready to go, grab a giant flour tortilla, add a few spoons of the hot refried beans right down the middle, top it with shredded cheese and some green sauce, then you're gonna wrap it and toast it on both sides. Once it's all crispy on both sides, top it with even more cheese and green sauce and broil it to finish. And that's it. That's how I make my green chili bean and cheese burrito. All 
All right, so my bean burrito, my green chili bean burrito is done. Um, this is a beautiful looking burrito, kind of rustic, charred, green chili, melty, charred cheese on top, or like caramelized cheese, and the finished cilantro is great. Um, nice little pop of green. And I am excited to dive in. The whole process of this is very easy. I think the only thing you kind of need is that stick blender, and if not, you can use various different blenders to accomplish that pureed, uh, refried bean texture. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm going to stop gabbing and taste this burrito. The only thing I'm kind of afraid of is how hot this is, because I know they're like, it's like lava. Hold on. So good. The jalapenos fortunately aren't as spicy as you might think they'd be. These were a little bit more mild, so it actually made a really good salsa, a nice balanced salsa. Mm. And the beans aren't spicy as well. Of course, you can add and subtract during that process if you want to add more spice or take out a chili. Sometimes it's nice to have that roasted chili flavor without the spice. Mm. This is ridiculous though. So good and making the, uh, the tortillas from scratch is a major bonus if you want to go that route, which I have a video on if you want to check the description box. This is ridiculous though. Mm. Also another thing, some people don't like it um, wet with the cheese and the sauce on top. You don't have to do that. You can have it dry if you want to crisp it up or just like I said, leave it chewy like a normal um, you know, bean and cheese burrito that we have at some fast food joints just to make it easy, but these are so easy just to knock out. They're great for kids, for the family. The, the refried beans actually make a beautiful um, bean dip. If you wanna like add a little bit more chilies in them, different flavors and stuff like that, you can make a beautiful bean dip. Um, but this is great. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below for future uh, video requests, things you wanna see on my channel. I always have a, uh, you know equipment lists and ingredients down below, so make sure you check that out. Sometimes that gets missed. And of course, I will see you guys next time with another recipe. Bye guys.